Hello and welcome to another webinar at ZipWeb. Coming to you from Seattle, Washington. I am one of your co-hosts, Keith Hitchcock. I'm digital content producer at ZipWeb, and I'm happy to introduce my other co-host, Courtney Parham. Courtney, tell folks a little bit uh, more about yourself and what you do at ZipWeb. Awesome. Thank you, Keith. I'm so excited to be here. Hi, everyone on the line. My name is Courtney Parham. I am the product trainer and instructional designer here at ZipWhip. That's a very, very long title for, I like to help people learn how to text. Uh, so some of you on the line who are current customers may have taken a training from me. Um, you may have done an onboarding experience, a refresher experience, watched a training video I put together. Um, so I'm very, very passionate about getting teams up to speed with training and making sure you understand the best practices so you too can become a tech expert. Yes. <laughs> so either you're already texting and you're looking for some inspiration or you're contemplating texting for business. In either case, you've come to the right place. Um, we have a team of moderators that are behind the scenes helping out as well, uh, answering your questions that we can't get to. Um, so we got a whole whole team here to support you and uh, hopefully get you inspired around texting for business. So you've gotten to know us a little bit. Let's get to know you. I'm gonna launch a poll here um, and uh, please engage. Question is, how does your company currently text with customers now? There's a selection for, we don't text with customers quite yet and that's fine, no judgment here. Um, and we have a, a spot, a selection for folks who are already customers. Um, and using ZipWeb texting for business um, and some other selections there. Let's give you a couple more moments to engage with that and then we will take a peek at the results. One more moment, one more moment and- Just one more. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, no more. Let's take a look uh, at what people said. Okay, so uh, we have a lot of customers on. Hello and welcome. Thank you for being customers. We really appreciate your business. Um, some people are using cell phones and some people are not texting um, and you are welcome here too. So um, thanks for playing along. Let us take a look at our uh, agenda today. It's uh, pretty simple here. After we get through our housekeeping, we will dive into the main content. We will have um, some time for uh, a live Q&A uh, towards the end of our session, um, which is 45 minutes in all. And so, but feel free to uh, toss your questions and or comments along the way. Um, our moderators might be able to help and we'll also be gathering those questions to ask um, when, when we have the Q&A. As a thank you for engaging with our brief survey at uh, the close of our webinar, we will be sending along a video and a PDF of the slides that you're seeing today. So you can watch for that as well. Uh, we are showcasing our keyword texting ability here. Um, if you want to try this, you can do it right now. You could text GREAT, but just the word GREAT, um, to this number. And if you're a customer using ZipWhip, be sure to toggle your signature off so we get a nice, clean, single word of GREAT. And uh, we'll send you some links to go deeper with, with content that we're talking about and, and some other links that we think might be helpful for you. An e, a link to an e-book uh, e as well is there. With that, I want to start um, moving us into the main content of the day, um, which is all about great ideas from customers. I had the pleasure of speaking to a bunch of our customers uh, back in the fall, which was such a delight. Um, I wish I, I, we could be featuring all of them today, um, but uh, we have handpicked six of them that we think you might be interested in hearing about. Um, and uh, more, <laughs> more to come when we dive in about that. But just in case there were there are a few people who are new to texting so just in case we have some complete newbies here um courtney do you want to talk to us about well what is texting for business it's such a great call out keith so not only a call out for the newbies but some of us are recommitting our dedication to making sure we're using all of the tools in our tech stack properly and efficiently you know that whole new year new you uh idea but for those of you who may just be getting started with zip whip considering zip whip or rededicating yourself to zip whip um zip whip is a texting for business service so it's different than personalized texting on your cell phones this is a platform that you can access from your computer, that you can access from your smartphone, and all of your text messages are going through that dedicated landline phone number 
that your business is already using uh, when calling or engaging uh, with your customers, your prospects, and your community members. Courtney, can you tell us a little more about the features for texting for business for people who might not know? Yeah, absolutely. So really there are features within ZipWhip, which we'll be talking about the benefits of those and the best ways to use those. Uh, during today's session, but there really truly are uh, certain features that a personal cell phone just doesn't offer. Um, so of course, the speed of which you can text when you're on a keyboard versus your thumbs. Um, there's automation features like scheduled, uh, scheduled messages, auto replies, the keyword functionality that we are showcasing today as well. Um, you can, like I mentioned, save your thumbs from falling off. You're getting that um, being able to sit down in your computer and just have that conversation via text message. But most importantly, also there's that organization and that reporting because records matter in business. Being able to have um, your centralized communication, no matter who in your business is, uh, is managing your texting or if there's multiple team members managing texting, everyone can engage and you have those reports and that uh, in those uh, records uh, moving forward. Great. Um, thanks for that refresher, uh, Courtney. And uh, I am I'm going to request Courtney that we turn off our videos so that we might be able to um, preserve some bandwidth for the slides, which are such a beautiful deck that we put together. I want people to be able to see it. So I'm going to I'm going to turn off my uh, camera once my little uh, spinny wheel of of concern stops. So I'll, absolutely. I'll, so we will turn them back on for live Q&A, but let's focus on the slides. How about that? Sounds good. Okay, starting off, uh, uh, yeah, I still have a little spinning wheel here. So I'll turn off my camera when I can, um, but I, I wanna dive into the content. So as, as, a, as to provide a little more context here, we, we talked to six different customers like credit union, staffing company, fitness company, who are using texting in powerful ways to drive their business. Uh, now, each of these businesses may not actually be like you, the business that you have, but I want you to pay attention to the use cases, um, how they are using um, business texting, and, and, and see for yourself what are the ideas that you can borrow yourself and implement into your own business. With that, let us dive into Excel Federal Credit Union. Um, I had a great chat with Brittany Bailey back in the fall, and they had a great idea. Well, the great idea was using texting, uh, keyword texting for consistent quality customer service. So they started with a challenge, which was, we need to schedule appointments. And they hadn't been doing any texting before, and they landed on a solution, which was um, combining business texting, ZipWhip, with a third party uh, scheduler tool. And they started uh, scheduling appointments with that tool. Um, people would send in the word appointment and they would, um, they, they would be prompted with uh, some other automatic texts that would come back to them after that, that keyword um, came back to them. So uh, from that, they actually expanded out their uh, texting use cases um, into scheduled reminders, um, potentially communicating uh, safety protocols via text. Um, they had auto replies for after hours and just general customer service. So sort of, sort of quick questions that could be answered via text. You don't necessarily need to get on the phone and answer. They would start by, uh, one of the members would see a, an announcement about being able to make an appointment on their website, giving the keyword appointment and the number that they could um, text that to. So the member would get back a response. And here they, 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 they there's actually a complex um, system that they they used, which was able to um, to route people to different locations if they needed to to talk to different locations. They're able to text in Midtown or AFC for the Atlanta Federal Center branch. Um, this is Excel out of Georgia. And uh, then this is a hypothetical text that I thought, oh, this would be a good idea too. I'm not sure if they're using this, but um, they're able to, uh, when someone arrives for the appointment, they can use a, a 
uh, a keyword to help them um, with the any safety protocols, whatever the current safety protocols were. So uh, there, so this use case of scheduling appointments with keywords um, help them expand to all different parts of their customer service and even into loans. And I love this quote from Brittany. She says, we have weekly management calls where we're talking about different things that we could roll out. The question now has become, well, can we text that? I just love. So they are, they're loving texting and using it in all sorts of ways. So you may not be a credit union, but our question to you is, how can you be using keywords to create some more consistent and quality customer service for your own business? A really great call out, Keith. I think that's a really interesting way to kind of think about going into the new year. I know like it's the beginning of the year, so we have these really ambitious goals, but there's no reason we can't hit those goals. So thinking of things like, can we text that? That's such a great theme to kick off the new year when you're thinking about your tech stack, you're thinking about your channels of communication within your business and driving that fast, easy and convenient experience. Can we text that? I really enjoy that. Uh, our, our number two example, uh, which is from Memco Staffing. I actually had the pleasure of working with this team um yesterday actually so i was actually able to connect with them in addition to keith uh doing his interview uh with one of their branch managers as well uh so what memco staffing is doing is a really interesting way that they're tackling staffing in the construction space so it's uh it's unique it's exciting uh so they knew that they had a need and they are absolutely crushing filling that need uh, so what their challenge was, was getting in front of talent and candidates quickly, especially in the construction space, you can imagine that that staffing experience might be a little bit non-traditional, meaning they've got talent and, um, and candidates that are on job sites. They're not in front of computers, they're on their cell phone. They're not necessarily able to get on a phone because sometimes job sites, as you can imagine, are loud, uh, but you can absolutely still have an impactful conversation via text message. So they were able to create a converse, they were introducing texting, a way to create conversational text messages to have that reach with their candidates. Again, we need to get in front of that top talent, get them placed so Memco staffing can keep crushing the game like they are. So these are the texting opportunities that they are taking uh, advantage of. So first and foremost is group messaging. So volume matters, especially in the talent and the talent space. You need to, you know, put as much talent in front of the client that you're filling that position for. So they truly understand these are exactly the best of the best uh, that we are getting placed into these positions. Uh, they're scheduling messages so they can stay top of mind and actively engaged. So onboarding paperwork, follow up after interviews, Think about those times where you've dialed out at an appointed time and even though it's an appointment, the call still gets missed. A scheduled message can absolutely make sure that that is a more efficient process, making sure that no one is in fact missing that call. And then more importantly, they're setting themselves apart from their competition. So really getting that opportunity to connect with people in the way that it's best to connect with the talent that is filling their construction staffing roles and being able to stay in front of those, the, those excuse me, and staying in front of those contacts. So let's talk about the notifications of open positions. So I put together a template here um, that is similar to their workflow, uh, but this is focused on group messaging and dynamic fields. As I called out, it is a absolute numbers game. You have to get in front of the talent. You have to stay top of mind with the talent. You have to stay competitive in the space and when you are filling those roles. You may not be in staffing, but competition, we all seen it, we all experience it. So here's an example of a group message. You'll see I have three named contacts plus 97 additional contacts because fun fact, when you're utilizing group messaging in ZipWhip, you can reach out to a, up to 100 recipients at a time. To make this an even more scalable process for the Memco team, we're tagging in features like dynamic fields, which autofills details from the saved contact record into the body of the text message upon sending saving your 
team time, creating a scalable work experience, and creating a personalized experience for that recipient. So this is on the receiving end. And this is one of the biggest questions I get for anyone that as we're talking about dynamic fields, as we're talking about group messaging, what does the recipient experience? And this is a quick example of the recipient experience. You'll, you'll, you'll recall on my last slide, there were a hundred contacts that I reached out to. But when Nadia is receiving this uh, response, receiving this message, it's a personalized experience for Nadia. And that's one of the biggest benefits of group messaging. It's fast, it's easy, it's convenient, and it's scalable for you and your teams. Uh, so big shout out to Camilo, who is one of the branch managers at Memco. I actually had the pleasure of talking to him yesterday. Uh, so really uh, one of the things that was his biggest takeaway when speaking with Keith was being able to reach a mass amount of people at once is crucial and an important aspect of texting and filling positions. Volume matters, engagement matters, outreach matters, especially being able to stay in touch as quickly as possible. So thank you so much, Camilo, and thank you for those great ideas. Uh, let's dive into title boxing, which is customer number three that I had the, the pleasure of speaking to. So um, the theme of speed is good for boxing and business when I spoke to uh, Ron Alessia there at Title Boxing Club in that the particular branch at Trexler Town, Pennsylvania. Um, they were getting heavy into template usage, which was helping speed. The challenge that they were working with there was driving new membership. And it's probably a challenge for um, all gyms and uh, fitness clubs, and particularly in a, in a time like this. Um, and maybe you have a business that uh, relies on membership and keeping membership up. Um, one of the key factors that Ron is working with in his club is getting driving membership up. And one of the key factors in that is the response time with which he's able to, or his staff is able to respond to questions, inquiries, and all that sort of thing. Um, so they they implemented ZipWhip and they leveraged templates in a big way, which are those uh, those preset responses uh, to questions, inquiries, um, those commonly asked questions and whatnot that they can zip right right back to someone right away uh, if and when they when a, a situation calls for it. So they're using that and they realize that well this is good for just member retention as well. So speed, getting back to being able to answer those quick info, the answer, quick questions, last minute changes, updates. There's a class cancellation or uh, hey, we, we we have some slots open up in this session, all that kind of stuff. Um, if you if you can handle that very quickly, like templates help you do, um, then you have a greater chance of retaining those members and getting new members. So from there, they were actually able to expand out into other areas like marketing, special offers, and events using texting. So let me show you show you how they did uh, templates. Here's just a, a simple. A uh, hypothetical um, example here, someone calling in a prospective a member saying, hey, can you please send me info and membership? Think about how long it might take to type out or thumb out a response if you're, if you're doing kind of old school uh, smartphone texting, um, this response. They have, they have the goal of responding to any and all inquiries in three minutes or less. So you could probably get it in three minutes, but how much more time would you be saving um, day after day, moment after moment, if you're able to implement a template like this? Just quick response, then your your staff is able to get back to, to something else. So this is just one of the many templates that they are using. And uh, Ron said to me, we have a ton of different templates that we use from ZipWhip that enable us to touch a prospect or a lead within seconds of having that communication come in. So templates are super powerful. I want everyone watching to think about, even if you're not anything like a gym or a fitness club, how could you be leveraging templates and all those sort of frequently asked questions or different types of responses that you find yourself or your staff finds just repeating again and again and again. It's a big, big time saver. So speed is good for, for boxing 
and business, especially when you're using templates. Our customer number four interview that we were engaging with is uh, listen up y'all. So this is a digital media uh, broadcasting organization. So they manage five radio stations and an online news platform uh, in, uh, uh, in, the, in the Southern markets. So one of the things that I would want to call out before we dig into this, this example is, I know that radio stations and media can be a really unique and niche market, especially when it comes to texting. But the lesson here, or my biggest takeaway from you know, reviewing the interview that Keith did and really working with a lot of our media uh, customers here at ZipWhip is scalability and engagement. So they may phrase it as audience engagement, but every business has an audience. Your audience are your prospects, your customers, your community members, anyone that you intend on trying to attract to your business, keep engaging with your business and growing your business with that engagement. So keep that in mind as we dig into this example here. Uh, so their challenge, of course, was listener engagement, because again, they're a radio station. So when we're looking at listener engagement, think about this, of course, as audience, and your audience is, of course, your community. The challenge they're running into is in traditional or previous experiences uh, when it came to listener engagement, whether it's contesting, whether it's, hey, let's dial in and have this conversation, weigh in on this sport, anything that it may be, what they were running into is they had a very small subset that they were able to essentially engage with, especially in that call-in uh, model. Or uh, So bringing in texting created that scalable engagement. So now if it's B caller number 100, it's not just the 99 people prior that they're talking to. Now it's thousands of texts could come in and that's a ton of engagement that they're driving. So when they're bringing in texting, they're thinking about the texting opportunities that can continue to grow from this opportunity. So building a, a pipeline of content leads with sponsors. So all contests uh, that are coming in at radio stations are typically sponsored. So you yourself may actually be partnering in your community, doing some form of cross promotion. Uh, so you may be a fitness studio who's uh, connecting with the, uh, the cold press juice bar next door. Uh, you may be an insurance agent who is, uh, you know, helping to uh, to support small businesses and restaurants by uh, doing contesting or raffling around uh, um, gift cards for those businesses to dr keep driving that traffic in during these difficult and challenging times. So building that pipeline and having that conversation via text message can absolutely seed more engagement with your business, but also more engagement with other businesses in your community. They also have been using ZipWhip as an emergency response and engagement tool. There was recently a natural disaster event where a um, hurricane came right over their town and it knocked down power lines. They were losing power. People were scared. People were, you know, what, what happens? What do I do in this scenario? They're trying to reach out. They can't get through on the phone, but text messages, keyword responses to link them to um, up-to-date news stories, uh, has really been able to help drive that engagement and continue to show that they are the local resource for great information. Can you be the trusted local advisor? Absolutely. And texting can help you do that. Um, really, at the end of the day, I know I've said this throughout today's session, meeting people where they are at is so critical. And guess where people are at? On their cell phones. <laughs> I'm not unique. The same thing happens to me. I use my phone. I get those weekly reports on um, screen time. They're not great. <laughs> but this is just showing us that this is exactly where people are at and we're giving them that information that they're looking for. Uh, so one of the pieces of audience engagement that um, is being used very heavily to even enhance that conversation further is using uh, the use of MMS messaging. So ZipWhip allows you to send and receive picture messages as a part of your conversation. And this conversation, uh, this is an audience member who is texting in uh, their huge fan of Brad and Kate in the morning, and that is Panda, the cutest pup there is. Uh, so this is just a really fun way to drive that contesting, to drive that engagement further. So you can use uh, picture messaging to troubleshoot issues. Are you working with a, uh, a client who 
doesn't know how something works, tell them to snap a picture and text it into you. So you have that context to drive that conversation forward. So this great idea came from Listen Up Y'all, but more specifically, Andrew Dull, who was the group program director. Uh, Keith had a great conversation with him. And he was talking about how he's huddled up with his teams internally. They're really loving ZipWhip. They're loving the scalability ZipWhip supplies for them. And he's just letting us know that he talked with some people in the office and he decided that if they had to actually put a dollar amount, um, ZipWhip is worth about $50,000 a year to us, a full-time skilled level employee. So ZipWhip can truly be an extension of your team member. You've got Andrew, you've got Keith, you've got Natalie, you've got Colleen, and you've got ZipWhip. <laughs> so I was really excited about that example. Me too. Yeah, I, I was blown away when uh, Andrew mentioned that to me. But it makes sense how uh, the 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 number of ways that they they are using a ZipWhip texting um, is as if I mean it's it's doing the work of of a full time employee, which is great. So let's move on to customer number five, West Coast Music Academy. <clears throat> Had a great conversation with Jeff Novak there, who is the owner of the academy. And the great idea that, that I pulled away, away from him was ZipWhip streams line overall business workflow. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to tell you how they did that. The challenge that they started with um, that got them on the road to doing texting was too much time spent on the phone and email. And, and we're probably all experiencing the, uh, the concept of people not answering our phone calls. Uh, even, <laughs> even friends and family may not be answering our phone calls anymore because people are just getting out of that habit now that they're texting more uh, same with same, same thing with email and the email barrage that that come into our inboxes um, people are not responding to emails it's, it's becoming a less and less effective way to reach people so he had a sense that texting would would actually improve things and uh, by gum it it did um, he says now almost all customer communication is done via text now and you can imagine for a, a a, a music academy doing music lessons that people are coordinating um, times, changing appointments, um, having to cancel appointment, um, having back and forth about how much was that lesson and all that sort of thing. They do all that uh, via text now or almost all via text now. So it's quick info, it's updates, it's rescheduling, all that is saving time for not only uh, employees but their, their customers too. So they love that sort of thing. Um, it turns out during the lockdowns and time of COVID, um, ZipWhip has been a, an important tool for internal communications too. It's not a huge academy that they have, but enough that there needs to be some coordination uh, among the employees that are working remotely now. So they've, they found ZipWhip to be a, a super useful tool, um, critical for internal communications because there might be last minute changes that, that are coming about as well um, if, if some status changes, right? Um, and the running theme of a lot of these companies ha has been starting for one use case and expanding out there. And uh, the music West Coast Music Academy is no exception. They they figured out that they could be doing um, promotions too, texting out promotions to everyone who has opted in to um, to receive texts. And uh, so they're driving even more business that way. So let me let me talk to you how uh, one part of this streamlining their business has been via payment. Now, if you haven't heard yet, uh, ZipWhip implemented text to pay. It's a new feature um, that came in the, at the end of, of 2020. Um, so the users of ZipWhip um, at the premium level can now use text to pay uh, to have their customers pay them. It's a super simple, secure elegant solution um, for to, to, to get billing, to get, to get payments from customers. So here's an example of someone who's just wanting to pay for two months of lessons. They'll say, hey, I wanna pay for two, two months of lessons. And using um, the template uh, for text to pay, the operations person is a, be able to zap this back. And, and once the, this person is in the, the, the system, their customer's in the system, they can use text to pay for paying whatever they need to do. It's it's simple, it's connected to their credit card and <laughs> it helps them streamline everything they do. So uh, Jeff told me this, he, he said, we can literally have someone text us for information about the school 
send them that information, get them set up uh, for a lesson, accept their payment, and basically all from ZipWhip. So ZipWhip has become, become this all-in-one tool from the beginning of uh, a prospect or a lead coming into the company to a happy paid customer, which is, which is amazing. So the question and challenge to you in your own business, even if you're nothing like a music academy, is what parts of your uh, business workflow would texting help out? Can it do more than it's doing right now? Can you streamline your whole system from beginning to end for a customer? Or what, what component can it do, um, including text to pay? There you go. That was customer number five. Courtney, what do you think about customer, num customer, customer number six? Well, just like all of the customers, Keith, I think they are all terrific and they've got great ideas. And that is, uh, I just, I'm sorry, I have to go back to that last example. I just think that is so terrific. Um, the text to pay, creating that one-stop shop, the efficiency in the tech stack. I just, I really was blown away by that one. I mean, I say this by, about everybody, uh, all six of the customers that we, uh, that we worked with, um, for the interviews and, and the presentation today, but these are really great innovative ideas to really start your new year off on, on the right foot. And that's no different than customer number six, uh, mustard seed financial and, uh, and insurance. Uh, so one of the challenges that they were seeing, especially as you know, we all transition to work from home in certain communities, um, is the flexibility of still being able to have centralized, um, communication channels that everyone can access but still create a work-life balance to still have the flexibility to again uh, be able to engage in um, if you do have a what we would consider non-traditional but of course it's not non-traditional in your in um, your example but if you've got truckers if you've got construction if you've got um, you know people that are working nights that you're looking to engage with it's just a little bit different of an experience but zip whip and, and including texting helps create that centralized communication. So all of your different shifts, all of your different team members can have that one-stop one shop, as we saw in example five, um, through uh, communication. So the texting opportunities that Mustard Seed Financial and Insurance saw um, as a part of bringing texting on board is the one phone number access. I cannot stress this enough. This is not a number that you text from and then you call from a different number. It's all funneled through one branded number. It's that number that's on your business card. It's that number that's on the door at your business. It's the number on your website. It's the number that they call and hit your voicemail. It's that same number that you are sending and receiving text messages from. And that is one of the most critical and important pieces that we're not scrambling all over the place trying to keep track of several different phone numbers. Having that instance of multiple users helps keep that record keeping and the momentum alive in those conversations because momentum happens. Uh, is Momentum happening is so inc incredibly critical uh, to closing business, winning business, staying top of mind, and having that fast, easy, and convenient way to engage with someone helps helps you see that through with the business and it creates that consistent customer experience so as we saw before you can have your keyword responses your message templates uh, letting people know that they can engage with you uh, via text message and get the same great service that they would get if they walked into your business if they called into your business if they emailed your business same thing with texting same great experience and their oppor the bigger opportunity that they saw is the mobile app so with Mustard Seed Financial, specifically their uh, financial and insurance, they are specifically working with insuring truck drivers. So as you can imagine, they're keeping us going. They're, they're delivering really critical pieces of our daily lives for our businesses, for our grocery stores, for our daily lives. So as you can imagine, as insurance is coming up for renewal or they're shopping for new pricing, they're not going home to a computer oftentimes. A lot of this is taking place right on their mobile phone. But more importantly, the, uh, the customer service representatives or the agents they're engaging with also need the flexibility of being able to respond at a moment's notice and put Zip Whip in their pocket and take it with them. So with that centralized communication comes the mobile app. 
So there's several different, of course, applications available in ZipWhip. You can sit down in front of your computer and send a text message. And if you have the ZipWhip mobile app on your tablet or your smartphone, you can get up from your computer, go pick up the kids, go drop them off, run to the grocery store, stop by an, a, a, an a on-site appointment, and be able to still pull out your phone and conduct business just uh, the way you would sitting in front of your computer with the ZipWhip mobile app. All conversation history is intact. Sending and receiving messages through the ZipWhip mobile app is still through that same centralized phone number as we saw earlier it is so critical. So you really have all of the pieces of the puzzle right there in one place. So you're sitting in front of your computer, you get up, you can still provide that same great service through the mobile app. You can access your message templates, uh, your signature is intact for proper identification, um, and all of the conversation history syncs directly back to your, uh, your uh, computer instance of ZipWhip as well. So we were working with Christopher Aldritz, uh, the transportation team leader of Mustard Seed, uh, Mustard Seed Financial and Insurance. And so he's talking about being able to continually engage and provide updates on quotes, uh, be able to find updates on uh, renewals or pricing as uh, policies come up for renewal or uh, someone is reaching out about pricing for a new policy and getting that quote. We have on average anywhere from five to 13 people allow us to quote them commercial insurance based off just a text message. Really, that boils down to pure profit. So fast, easy, and convenient is great, but growing and being able to manage your, your business with the same great consistent service via text message is even better. Um, we have covered a lot of ground, Courtney. I, I wanna make sure that there, we have time for questions. Um, so can you give us just a quick recap of what we've covered? Great, I, uh, let's dig into all six, just a quick recap. Uh, so coming uh, number one on our list was Excel uh, Federal Credit Union. Uh, they were talking about consistency with their keywords. So they're able to create quality customer service, provide safe spaces and protocols, and schedule appointments in a quick and efficient manner using the keyword functionality within ZipWhip. Number two, we had Memco Staffing. Uh, so this is great to create that conversational text messaging because reach matters being able to get in front of a lot of people uh, to let them know hey you would be a uh, you know a great candidate for this role matters especially in the staffing space uh, number three i loved this so much speed is good for boxing and business really it boils down to you gotta strike when the iron is hot so using those templates to speed up that workflow, using those templates to create that experience consistently, making sure that you and all of your staff members are responding on an on-brand fashion is huge. Number four, listen up, y'all. We're talking about scalable engagement. So this is where we're seeing um, the MMS messaging. This is where we're seeing group messaging with dynamic fields. This is where we're um, building our relationship with our community. So we are the trusted local advisor. Uh, so no matter what industry you are in, you want to be the tr local trusted advisor and texting can help you do that. Number five, we have West Coast Music Academy. They are streamlining everything top to bottom, awareness to purchase to engagement, one-stop shop using text to pay, uh, where you can uh, receive payments via text message. And last but not least, we have number six, Mustard Seed Financial Insurance, centralized communication. Are you sitting in front of your computer and you need to get up and go somewhere? Download the mobile app, put it in your pocket and take it with you. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Courtney. So uh, we're gonna, dive into questions here. Before we do, um, we realize that we're getting on 45 minutes and you may have only allotted that much time. Uh, we're going to probably go a little past that. So if you need to hop off, no problem. Uh, we won't take it personally. Um, do take a moment to engage with that uh, survey that will pop up, up, up on your screen when you close. And uh, just take a couple moments to tell us how we did. If you're a customer, it's an opportunity to tell us Hey, what what other uh, content would be helpful for you in your uh, in your day to day business work flow? Mm -hmm. So, um, if you need to take off, adios. Thanks for being here. And if you can stick around uh, for questions, there's always fun questions that we can answer. We'll get to as many as we can. Um, let's dive into that. 
Fire at will. <laughs> awesome. Right. Keith, I see quite a few questions coming in. Uh, should we just dive right in? Dive in, yes. All right. So one question that just came in um, is, do you find most people using ZipWhip are using it on a desktop or using it on their personal phones? Really terrific question. Thank you for that. Um, it, all, it really truly depends on your business model. So there are more highly regulated or uh, industries that are using ZipWhip, like financial institutions, credit unions, um, insurance organizations, where they like to keep their teams using ZipWhip at a specific time of day, top or bottom, seven to four, whatever that may be. And at 4 p.m., you're done. Uh, so you're not taking ZipWhip with you. So if you do need that flexibility, it is available to you, but it's typically in line with your business model more than uh, more than necessarily a trend one versus the other. So if you do need that flexibility, it's absolutely available to you. You can put it in your back pocket and take it with you. Great. I'm seeing some questions about, hey, what what features are are does my plan include? Because we are we are potentially talking about some features today that aren't in your uh, starter package, for example. And so, uh, Courtney, can you fill us in on that a little bit? Really great question. Thank you, Keith. Um, so, as you guys know, there are different tiered packages when you are utilizing ZipWeb. Some of you may be in a larger organization, so you have a custom package that was predetermined by your organization when coming on board with ZipWeb. Some of you came in through our website and said, this is a great opportunity for me to use texting. So you selected one of the plans available there. Uh, so the starter package that we're seeing um, is 500 messages per month, one user, one line. So you're ready to rock and roll. It's you, your business. Um, and you're sending and receiving text messages. Uh, when we're looking at an unlimited plan, you're looking at unlimited messages every month and you have up to three users. So it could be you and two additional staff members. Still, we're using that centralized phone line. That's a great experience for anyone engaging with your business. Uh, then there's of course the premium line. This is the one that would be used if you're interested in text to pay. So also being able to text from that centralized number with unlimited text per month. But on top of that, you can add uh, text to pay so you can uh, receive payments via text message on that plan as well. So you have up to five users. It's still the one centralized line, uh, but you have all of the features available to you and you can add text to pay to that, uh, to that uh, excuse me, to that package as well. Awesome. What else are you seeing over on your side there? I see a question here that I think is really great because this is a common question when we discuss group messaging in ZipWhip. So what's the difference from ZipWhip and my Android group uh, group texting on my cell phone? So there's a list top to bottom on that. First and foremost, you, if you send a group message from your cell phone, just your Android or your, your Apple phone, um, it's not coming from your business phone number and we're, we're driving that consistency. So that's one difference. Second difference is, Group texting on, on uh, within ZipWhip is not like group texting on our cell phones. Uh, group texting in ZipWhip is a blind carbon copy. So it's that BCC function. Everyone who is listed on that group message being sent through ZipWhip um, is receiving that message as a personalized experience. And when they respond to that message, it's coming directly back into ZipWhip and going to no one else. So throw a group message together, put a template on there, put in some dynamic fields, and, and anyone receiving that message would be none the wiser that it was sent to 97 other people. So terrific question, thank you. Yeah, good one, thank you. Um, here's, uh, here's one, uh, I like this one. It's what, what should I include or not include in my texts to customers? Uh, oh, I love I, this question, I, I love yeah. content questions. Yeah, really yeah, you have some ideas, ideas about this. Yeah, Courtney? Um, so when it comes to content, um, when you're thinking about a text message, there's three main pieces that I like to advise anyone using texting, whether it's your first day or your thousandth, thousandth, thousandth day texting, is um, proper identification matters. If someone does not know who is reaching out to them, they don't recognize the number, you haven't thrown your name and your brand in that text message, you haven't turned on your custom signature, which helps create that consistent identification, people are less likely to respond or engage with that message. So make sure you've identified yourself. Second piece is a call to action. 
call to actions are so critical when it comes to reaching out to someone. So why should they respond to you? What are you, what's the benefit there? What is the action you need them to take? And then what are the expectations that you are taking on to support this action that they were meant to take? So call to actions, what are you asking them to do? Phrase it as a question, encourage them to take the action. And last but not least, think about promotional messaging. Make sure it's conversational. Don't really throw the sales pitch at them right away. Um, ease into the conversation, establish and maintain that rapport uh, because when messages come off too salesy, I don't care if you properly identified yourself, it's gonna be off-putting. Great, and what other questions are you seeing, Courtney? <clears throat> um, let's see here. Uh, great question. Can you please uh, share some best practices on getting people to opt into texting? Um, so one of the best ways to opt into texting is to encourage people to initiate the conversation. Um, so if someone is texting you, that's a form of implied consent. Uh, we also have really great um, uh, we have a really great ebook about TCPA compliance that just explains, you know, opt in, how to keep track of and records of those opt in. But getting people to text you is such a critical piece of that uh, because now people are asking for information from you. They're asking to engage with you by sending you that text message. So updating your uh, voicemail greeting to say, hey, you can also text us at this number, updating your email signature um, when you are leaving voicemails to promote that choice of calling or texting. Uh, when you are uh, engaging um, on your website saying, you know, text us, if you have social media out, uh, blasts out there that say you can now engage with our business via text message, this is encouraging that inbound messaging where you are allowed to respond to someone uh, when they did send you a text message. Great. Good question and great answer. Terrific. Uh, let's see if there are any other questions coming in. Um, here's one I'm seeing. Um, is texting with ZipWhip HIPAA compliant? This is a oh, great question. So we do have a lot of medical uh, providers, uh, dental offices, home care providers, um, doctor's offices, so medical clinics that are using ZipWhip. Uh, and what we what we always strive to do is make sure uh, that you are able to uh, have those conversations safely and relevantly. Uh, so I do recommend downloading our TCA, uh, TCPA compliance um, book that ebook that will outline all of the compliance factors to keep you and your team uh, compliant using ZipWeb. Question that just came in, does your system manage the opt-ins and opt-outs? Uh, so if someone does determine that texting is no longer their preferred form of communication, there is an opt-out functionality that's built directly into ZipWhip. Um, so use of the word stop. It has to be just the word stop, no other characters in the text message, and that will trigger the opt-out. We encourage all users of ZipWhip to communicate the, uh, the option to opt out via text message to anyone that you're engaging with clearly and plainly. Typically, we recommend putting this in your signature line, something as simple as text stop to opt out. Someone does trigger the opt out by texting in the word stop. Our network receives it. A network message is automatically fired to confirm that the text line uh, they will no longer receive incoming messages from this line. And then it'll suppress the um, text message functionality for that particular contact. So you and your staff don't accidentally text that person in the future. Uh, so that is the opt-out functionality specifically within ZipWhip to help your team uh, differentiate between someone who may have opted out and someone who you're still uh, actively engaging with. Good question, good answer. Where, what else were you seeing, Courtney? Um, let's see here. Questions have slowed down quite a bit on the side. Um, the side I'm looking at over here. Do you see anything, Keith? Oh, uh, we could. Uh, here's one. Um, how much does text to pay cost? Oh, great question. I know we've touched on text to pay and uh, how it can really create that one-stop shop for you. Uh, there is no additional cost to your ZipWhip package. 
to um, enroll in text to pay as a service on your ZipWhip line. So as long as you're on the ZipWhip premium package or um, have a dish, uh, or you're in a custom package that may have been set up with a, with an account executive here at ZipWhip, it is no cost for you to enroll in text to pay. Yeah, I do believe off via charges uh, it kind of a standard uh, you know payment processing fee just like any other uh, payment solution would. You know, it's a small percentage um, percentage point there, but pretty standard. A really terrific question that we just saw uh, is how do you set up the text to pay feature? There is a link. <laughs> Go ahead, Keith. <laughs> yeah, I don't have access to it right now. Um, I, we did we did do this. Uh, I, I want to highlight to this this. Um, text to pay webinars, how to collect payment via text webinar that we did in um, back in December. It's on our resource center that will walk through and talk through a lot of the questions that are coming up around text to pay. Um, but there is a link that hopefully the moderators can drop in chat. That is yep, just- Natalie around. just dropped it in the chat. Okay, great. That will at least get you started and should get you to the right place of just signing up for it. It's relatively easy. Yeah, and there's a demo mode. So when you do sign up, you can go into the demo mode and practice and kind of see what that experience looks like before you go all the way through to um, merchant mode where you're actually dealing with real true funds. So it is nice to be able to sign up, get your at bats in, if you will, and then be able to start using text to pay as a um, payment processing uh, feature within your business. Good call okay well i think we should probably begin to wrap things up uh, first of all with a thank you uh courtney for being here and and presenting all your great wisdom and knowledge around texting for business thank you and, i'm happy to be here and happy to be working with everyone on the call and thanks to everyone for showing up uh, taking some time out of your day to get inspired or re-inspired about texting for business and all the things that you could be doing um as courtney says new year new you so now's your chance to implement some of these tools um, as the webinar closes um look for that uh survey to pop up on your screen uh, before you before you do i do want to highlight uh, if you're looking for more inspiration you can't get enough uh, go do check out ZipWhip's resource center. It's been newly um, revamped, and you can easily access a bunch of different ebooks, webinars, videos. Um, we also have a blog with with a lots of information uh, and inspiration. Um, there is a help within the ZipWhip app. If you have never found this before, you just go to the lower left side of your app. There's a question mark there that you can you can click and get get some help within the app. Um, in February, I wanna tease a, a little, um, our next and latest greatest state of texting report, state of texting 2021, which tracks consumer and industry trends for business texting. Um, some of those stats are pretty interesting this year and may affect um, how you're looking at implementing and continuing with texting for business. So with what that- call out, Keith? Yes, thank you. Um, I'm so sorry. One last thing that I do want to call yep. out for those of you who are still on the line. Uh, for those of you who are current customers, uh, we are also adding in uh, some more content for you guys to keep learning, keep rocking with us here at ZipWhip. Uh, so in that follow-up survey, it does ask if there's other topics that you may want to learn about. Uh, we are reading those surveys. We love hearing your feedback. We love hearing those topics. Uh, they help drive the content uh, that we are producing and providing you. Uh, and we're, we're getting that in front of you on a regular basis in 2021. Thanks again and uh, have a good rest of your day and a great 2021. Thanks y'all.